so much, baby. Stop putting on your charm. <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed at the both of you right now. I can't believe y'all are going to see my sweet King Tom Segura. Wait, so you love Tom Segura and and Sleep Token? Uh, yes. Oh God. You should be dating me, not fucking <laughs> lucky. <laughs> you should meet my cousin Robbie. Y'all would be like fucking amazing together. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't like dick. <laughs> Neither does he, but I think y'all would get a lot great. <laughs> I'm super fucked up right now. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> uh, so I'm pissed off because we got <laughs> tickets to like it was like second row right in the middle mm -hmm. and then they changed venues so yeah now we're like all the way to the right and like third row down what the fuck that's bullshit you should complain about that that is bullshit i mean you're mm. still really pretty close but yeah, like i mean not as it's close not the as worst but yeah. Who's all going with y'all? Uh, anyway, what, what's happening down in New Orleans? <laughs> Why did you change the subject so fast? It's what I do. <laughs> Why? Why? Tell me, Dane, what's happening? What are you trying to make happen? Uh, fuck all. Who's going with y'all? Oh, well, who's going? Um, I was supposed to go with a couple of mates. One of them's bouncing. And I'm trying to sneak someone in, but she's under 18. So mm -hmm. I don't know if she's going to be allowed. Yeah. So at this point, it's just going to be me and Lockie, and I'm going to get a refund for two tickets. Damn. So how many people did y'all originally have going? Four. Four, okay. Damn. Okay. I mean, if you can get on a plane and get here in the next, like, hour... Listen. You are more than welcome <laughs> to be invited. Unless we have, like, supersonic tech, like, half a light year tech, then yes, I would absolutely do it. It would probably cost a lot of money, too. But, besides the fact, I'm not going to be able to get there in time. We should give away the tickets to, like, somebody in front that's, like trying to find one and you could be like here dude and like make his night that would be amazing yeah well I already made a Facebook post but no grabbers damn, damn. Yeah. that's crazy that Tom Segura went from a regular venue to a bigger venue and now you can't find anybody to buy the tickets on the third row a little bit to the right what that's crazy. Yeah. Mm. And what's even worse is fucking Burt Crash is coming in a couple months and I didn't <laughs> see the post. So I didn't even get to fucking buy the tickets. Damn. See, I want to take my cousin Robbie to see Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer because he's a huge fan of both of them. And oh, I'm just going to toot my own horn for a se second. I turned him on to both of the comedians, and he, like, is hard on both of their dicks. And I would love nothing better than to take him to see both of them. And, um... Oh, yeah. 
I get a fucking hot on for both of them. Oh my god, I love them together. They're amazing. Uh, so I'm guessing you watched uh, Two Bears, One Cave? I love Two Bears, Two Bears, One Cave. I have their subscription notifications on, if that means anything to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love them together. When Bert starts, like, crying, like crying. Laughing. laughing. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> um, the fucking... What's the best story? Um, the fucking... Uh... The... Oh, the Kool-Aid story? The Kool-Aid story when he was refilling his water bottle with cool Kool-Aid? <laughs> And, like, Tom does, like, fucking a double take. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You, you're drinking Kool-Aid? You're drinking Kool-Aid that's nothing but sugar. <laughs> you know, have a heart attack in, like, two months, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, and then I'm he took to a sip. He took a sip from his fucking <laughs> blender bottle I and his to... Kool-Aid. <laughs> I try to drink four of these a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're hysterical together. Oh. oh god. That is like the best story ever. So fucking funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, mm. I've shown that to like so many people, and it's like, you know, when like two friends. Just laugh at whatever. Yeah. That's a funny story. But when it's like the two best stand ups alive and they laugh at whatever, oh my god. Yeah. And then you have like the really, really hard friend that doesn't laugh at anything. And you show it to them and they laugh. That's the good stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's Tom just fucking losing his shit over fucking Kool Aid. <laughs> He picked up the bottle and tried it, and he was like, that's really fucking Kool-Aid. <laughs> You're really drinking Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, my God. Who fucking puts Kool-Aid in a fucking workout water bottle? Bert Kreischer. Mmm. <laughs> 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 My freaking cheeks hurt from laughing. That's probably one of like the funniest clips I've ever seen. So fucking hilarious. Do you know that Lachlan's not seen any of Tom Segura's Netflix specials? What? I know, I made him watch like two of them today, and then we we're gonna watch the third one, and he was like, Do you wanna take a break? Do you wanna go play a game for a second? And I was like, What do you mean? And he was like, <laughs> he was like, do you want to take a break from watching this? I don't want to get played out before I go to the special. And I was like, no, 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 no. You don't understand Tom Segura. You literally can't get played out of him. But um, I thought y'all were going to have enough time to watch the third one that we were going to watch. But apparently not. Motherfucker. I know. He doesn't get it yet. Which one did you make him watch? So mostly we watched, stories? We watched Disgraceful, and then Mostly yeah. Stories, and then the third one, we're going to watch Ball Hog. Oh, Ball Hog's the best. I know! I was saving the best for third, and it came in the wrong timing. Like, the fucking line was like, like, uh, you know, that's your mum. Okay, now let's imagine your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that one fucked me up. Because <laughs> I literally pictured my grandma and I was like, no, no, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my grandma, your grandma. <laughs> oh my god. He's so good. He's so good on everything. Like, his delivery, 
his fucking faces that he makes. Oh, uh, he's perfect. Uh, I fucking love the cunt. Mm. Mm. Me too. Me too. I'm so fucking jealous that y'all are getting to go see him tonight. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I was there so bad. I'll just fucking fly down. I wish I could, but my fucking grandfather is putting a real damper on my travel plans. He would just yeah, well, go and die already. Just tell your granddad to fucking <laughs> stop having dementia. <laughs> Listen, dude, fix your own shit and don't put a fork in the microwave and we'll be good for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, can you just, like, <laughs> stop doing the thing? Cool, thanks. <laughs> can you just remember these, like, five simple steps and we'll be great? Mm. Mm. Just teach him how to make, like, toast. <laughs> Look. Uh, no. Bread, toaster, That's there we go. <laughs> We're all good. That's what he fucking keeps me around for the most. Because he knows I can cook his favorite meals. And he he had the audacity yesterday to tell me that he didn't want any more of the pork chops that I cook. Because I did something a little bit different. He's insane, man. Oh, He's so don't difficult. tell me you put some fucking spices on him. Yeah, well, I marinated them in, like, Italian dressing, which I never do. And my mom was like, it would be good if you did that. And they came out, like, really fucking good. And he was like, what'd you do to them different this time? And I was like, um, I marinated them. He was like, don't do that anymore. I don't, I, I don't want no more of them. And I was like, well, fuck me. I spent three hours cooking them, but okay. So the good thing about away. dementia is you can just say, like, Oh, uh, no. I cooked them, like, the <laughs> way I usually cook them. It's just your dementia. He's not that far bad yet. But I can't wait until he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> we all are. It's okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just sitting here twiddling, twiddling my thumbs until he passes away quietly in his sleep. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go help for that. Oh my god. He's making my life a fucking prison. Uh, it's nothing a pillow can't help. arsenic in the morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Please getting... don't follow my advice. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking sent away to prison for 26 years because of you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's getting hot in here. Mm. Oh my god, my window's cracked halfway. Okay, that's enough. Please don't kill your granddad. But I really, really want to. <laughs> mm. He's ruining my life. <laughs> sea bass, go away.
too many crickets, this dude's a weirdo. Knock knock. Who's there? A girl who doesn't have any arms. <laughs> Big girl who doesn't have any arms. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's what I call a fucked up joke. Do you like dead baby jokes? Duh. I'm good at them. Go for it. Um, what's the difference between a basement and a hundred dead babies? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a Ferrari in my in my basement. <laughs> oh, uh, mm, maybe I'm too fucked up. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, where'd my vape go? How do you stop a baby from downing? Um. Wait. wait. I've heard this one. I don't remember it though. Um. Throw a hundred more babies in to help it and hope they drown too. No, you just take your foot aside of its head. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Okay, you didn't have to scream, but okay. My headset came off, but that was a that was the punchline. Any more? Oh, I got a bunch more. Go for it. Um. Oh, how do you... Uh, how do you throw a baby through a hallway? Hmm. I don't know. Take the javelin out of his head. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I'm just think I'm just picturing all the mothers that I know that have miscarried babies that would be so upset at us right now. <laughs> yeah, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> right. Their babies are funny. <laughs> What's wrong with us? <laughs> And here's my favorite too. Okay. Yeah. Um, how, uh, <laughs> how do you get a hundred babies into a blend? Uh, I put a uh, hundred babies in the bucket. With the blender? How do you get them out? 
<laughs> With Doritos. Oh, you know that one. <laughs> that was the one Fuck that you. I was going to use on you. <laughs> he took it from me. <laughs> I'm going to get Deidre fucking deported to you. <laughs> And she's gonna eat the fuck out of you. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna have Booty and Otis deported to you, and they're gonna eat the fuck out of you. Listen, I have two on you. So you have no chance. Deidre's gonna eat the fuck out of them. No, 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 no. You don't understand Booty and Otis. They will fuck uh, Deidre up. And you. Deidre. At the same damn time. Deidre's gonna fuck them up. <laughs> no, she's not. I have two boys. They will literally fuck her, eat her, and then fuck you up. No. Mhm. Mm yep, yep, yep. That's what's happening here. Mmm. Oh my god, he's got the heater on, and it's literally 60 degrees outside. What the fuck? Dan? Hello? What are you doing? I'm playing with my puppy. Aww. What sits in the kitchen and keeps getting smaller and smaller? An egg? A baby combing its hair with a potato peeler. Oh. Sorry, Lockie's telling me to get out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Where did he go? I don't know. A W A. What does that mean? I don't know, I'm in the bathroom. Uh, that, uh, that was the water on the thing. Were you guys in the middle of something? You could have kept talking. I just wanted to get me out of my room. Oh no, it's okay. Why are you being all quiet and weird now? I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> did you clear the conversation? I did. Both of them. <laughs> no, not that long. Less than that. Let's go with 10, because I can't remember the number. Who, under the different circumstances, not sure if he wouldn't. And he's like, I would never do that. I would never do that. But you're not doing nothing, are you? <laughs> <laughs>